Good morning. This is White Raptor News Ministries. We're here at Numbers chapter 32, giving all praise and glory to the Supreme Spirit of Truth, the Living One, the Creator, the all you can see, the all you cannot see, the visible and invisible, the master of the universe, the authority, the writer, the author, the supreme. There is none like the spirit of truth. All praise be to the spirit. We're here going to pick up at 32. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. I'm going to read through real quick. The Reubenites and the Gadites, who had very large herds and flocks, saw that the land of Jasser and Galid were suitable for livestock. So they came to Moses and Eleazar the priest to the leaders of the community and said, Ataroth, Debon, Jezer, Nimrah, Heshbon, Alilai, Sebem, Nebo, and beyond, the land of the Lord subdued before the people of Israel are suitable for livestock and your servants have livestock. If we have found favor in your eyes, they said, let this land be given to your servants as our possession. Do not make us cross the Jordan. Moses said to the Gadites and the Reubenites, should your fellow Israelites go to war while you sit here, why do you discourage them Israelites from crossing over into the land of the Lord has given them? This is what your fathers did when I sent them from Gadash Barnea to look over the land. After they went up to the valley of Eshkol and viewed the land, they discouraged the Israelites from entering the land the Lord had given them. The Lord's anger was aroused that day, and he swore this oath. Because they have not followed me wholeheartedly, not one of those who were twenty years old or more, when they came up out of Egypt, will see the land I promised an oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Not one except Caleb, son of Jephunneh, Jephune, the Kinzanite, Kinzazite, Kinezite, and the Joshua, son of Nun, for they followed the Lord wholeheartedly. The Lord's anger burned against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness forty years, until the whole generations of those who had done evil in his sight was gone. Well, it didn't seem to change anything, did it? I mean, the Bible tells us that God's children are stiff-necked uh, people. So, that evil may have been gone, but clearly it's never left. There's only a few that, that you know, walk in the light, man, and understand this spiritual battle that we're in. And, and more people need to understand that. And here you are, a brood of sinners, standing in the place of your fathers and making the Lord even more angry with Israel. If you turn away from following him, he will again leave all his people in the wilderness, and you will be the cause of their destruction. Then they came up to him and said, We would like to build pens here for our livestock and cities for our women and children, but we will arm ourselves for battle and go ahead of the Israelites until we have brought them to their place. Meanwhile, our women and children will live in fortified cities for protection from the inhabitants of the land. We will not return to our homes until each of the Israelites has received their inheritance. We will not receive any inheritance with them on the other side of the Jordan because our inheritance has come to us on the east side of the Jordan. <clears throat> then Moses said to them, If you will do this, if you will arm yourselves before the Lord for battle, and if all of you are armed, cross over the Jordan before the Lord until he has driven his enemies out before him, then when the land is subdued before the Lord, you may return and be free from your obligation to the Lord and to Israel, and this land will be your possession before the Lord. But if you fail to do this, you will be sinning against the Lord, and you may be sure that your sin will be found out. Build cities for your women and children and pens for your flocks, but do what you have promised." The Gadites and the Reubenites said to Moses, We, 
your servants will do as our Lord commands. Our children and wives, our flocks and herds will remain here in the cities of Galilee. But your servants, every man who is armed for battle, will cross over to fight before the Lord, just as our Lord says. Then Moses gave orders about them to Eleazar the priest and Joshua son of Nun and to the family heads of the Israelite tribes. He said to them, If the Gedites and the Reubenites, every man armed for battle, crosses over the Jordan with you before the Lord, then when the land is subdued before you, you must give them the land of Gilead as their possession. But if you do not cross over with your armed, they must accept their possessions with you in Canaan. The Gedites and Reubenites answered, Your servants will do what the Lord has said. We will cross over before the Lord into Canaan armed, but the property we inherit will be on this, be on this side of the Jordan. Then Moses gave to the Gadites and the Reubenites and the half-tribe of Manasseh, son of Joseph, the king of Sihon, king of Amorites, and the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, the whole land with its cities and the territory around them. The Gedites build up Dibon, Atroth, Aroror, Atroth, Shophan, Jazer, Jagbeha, Beth Nimrah, and Beth Haran as fortified cities and built pens for their flocks. And the Reubenites rebuilt Heshbon, Elihle, and Karathiam, as well as Nebo and Baal Mion. These names were changed, and Sibma, they gave names to the cities they rebuilt. The descendants of Makur, son of Manasseh, went to Galid, captured it, and drove out the Amorites, who were there. So Moses gave Galid to the Makarites and the descendants of Manasseh, and they settled there. Jair a descendant of Manasseh captured their settlements and called them Havoth, Jair, and Nobah captured Kenneth and its surrounded settlements and called it Naboth after himself. And that would be, uh, I don't really have much to share about that. There's a lot of wars and stuff that go on. I guess you'd have to um, look these maps over. Um it's all history. History's been re rewritten, and history is written by uh, the winners of the story. It's his story, you know. Maybe at one time it was her story, and her story was changed to his story. You know, who knows what's going on inside of this Bible. Anyways, I all hope that you had a beautiful, pleasant day. This is White Raptor News Ministries.